What's up guys, Nick Sales here. A couple weeks ago, the zipper on my camera bag broke, so it was time for me to get a new one. I searched near and far for the best camera bag, and after researching it for days, I thought I had found the one, the Peter McKinnon Nomadic Bag. The reviews were through the roof, and the price tag of $400 made me think that this would be the holy grail of all camera bags. But when it came, I was actually super disappointed in it, and I'm gonna explain why. So after doing some more research, I found this low pro camera bag that was actually $200 cheaper than the Nomadic bag, and after comparing the two of them, I actually liked it better. So in this video, I'm gonna be comparing these two bags for you and explaining why I prefer the low pro over the Nomadic camera bag, and talk to you about the things that you should be looking for when buying a camera bag of your own. So let's Let's get into it. We're gonna cover eight features of these bags and compare those features against each other. And in the end, you'll see why I like the Low Pro better and which bag would best fit your needs as a filmmaker or a photographer. The first thing we're gonna compare is the price. The Nomadic bag comes in at $400 and the Low Pro comes in at $190. So there's quite the difference between these two bags. If they were closer in price, I wouldn't have been so disappointed in the Nomadic bag, but because it's at such a higher luxury price, I thought I was gonna be getting twice as good of a bag because it's more than twice the price, but I don't feel like it quite lives up to the price tag. The Low Pro bag, on the other hand, is quite the steal for only $190. It has all the features that I would want and need in a camera bag, and I really only have one or two things that they could improve on. The second thing we're going to compare is the depth of the camera bag, and this was the big kicker for me. As soon as I got my Nomadic bag, I realized that I couldn't even fit my lenses or cameras in this bag standing up straight. The bag just isn't deep enough. Now, I could still zip the bag closed like that, but I don't like the idea of having so much pressure being put on my lenses and camera bodies. And the thing that was really the final straw for me was realizing that I couldn't stick my 7 inch red monitor in the bag without putting pressure on the screen, which I'm almost sure would break it at one point or another. The Low Pro, on the other hand, is deep enough to fit all of my lenses and camera bodies, and there's even a nice little place for my red monitor to go right at the very top. So one super important thing to look for when buying a camera bag, make sure that it's deep enough. So because of that, another point will go to the Low Pro for this category. And the third comparison we're going to make is the comfort of the bag. As a filmmaker, I am carrying this backpack with me in airports and hiking through all sorts of crazy environments, so it's important that it's comfortable and that it fits nicely on my back. Especially with carrying all the heavy equipment that I put in it, this thing can destroy your back and your shoulders after wearing it for a long time if it's not comfortable enough. Both bags are actually really comfortable. They both have decent padding in the shoulder straps and on the back of the bag, and they both have straps that go around your hips and your chest to take some of the weight off of your shoulders. But I would say that the Nomadic bag has a little bit more padding in the shoulder straps, so I'm actually going to give a slight advantage to Nomadic in this category. But again, they were really close and it wasn't a huge difference. The fourth thing we're going to compare is the zipper quality. And this is actually the reason why my old camera bag broke in the first place. I actually had the older version of the same Low Pro bag that I was using, and I had it for four years. It worked super great until the zipper gave out, so that was one of the reasons why I was interested in the Nomadic bag, because they have a big, solid zipper that doesn't look like it would break very easily. But as I was researching the Low Pro bag, I realized that this newer version actually had an upgraded zipper that was way bigger and much better quality. So that's why I decided to buy another Low Pro bag because that was the only thing that was holding me back. So comparing the two of them, the zippers look pretty similar in build and quality, but the Low Pro zips a lot easier and faster than the Nomadic does, which is helpful when I need to zip it open really quickly and grab something. So the point goes to Low Pro for this category. The next thing we're going to compare between the two is the accessibility, which means how quickly and easily we're able to grab things from inside the bag. When you're on a shoot, time is money, and the quicker you can get into your bag and grab something, the smoother and quicker the shoot will go. So both backpacks have side zipper pockets that allow for quick access if you need to grab a lens from the side of the bag, but the Low Pro also has a top zipper which allows you to unzip just the top of the bag and reach in and grab something without having to unzip the whole bag open. And because of that, the point in this category will go to Low Pro. Next on the list is the built-in pull-out rain fly that the Nomadic bag doesn't have, so the point automatically goes to the the Low Pro. This is a feature that I absolutely love because I'm outside all the time and it's so handy that as soon as it starts to rain you can just pull out the built-in rain fly and pull it over the bag and kablammo protection from the elements. Then as soon as you're done you just tuck it back into where it goes. Number seven on the list is storage space. 
The Low Pro is 25 liters and the Nomadic Bag is 42 liters, but only when you expand it out, which I actually found it to be kind of misleading and I'll explain why. When I was doing my research on the Nomadic Bag and saw that it could fit 42 liters of gear, I thought, whoa, that is amazing. I could stick way more camera gear in that bag. The gear started turning in my head and I started thinking of all the additional camera bodies and lenses that I'd be able to fit into the bag. However, it turns out that when the bag expands, the only things that would reasonably fit in the extra storage space is things like clothes, which I don't need to take on my video shoots. So if you're looking for a travel bag to fit extra clothes and shoes, then the Nomadic would be a good fit for you. But if you're wanting to just fit camera gear, go with the Low Pro. And that was the biggest frustration that I found with the Nomadic bag was that it had too many features that I didn't need, like the expandable storage for clothes, but not enough features that I did need, like the depth of the bag to fit all my gear. So yes, technically the Nomadic should win in this category because it has more storage space, but it doesn't have enough storage space where I need it, and it has too much space where I don't need it. So so the point is going to low pro. And finally, the last thing we're gonna compare is the accessories. The Low Pro comes with a slew of accessories that are a filmmaker's dream. First of all, it comes with these two straps that can strap onto one of the 82 different loops on the back and the side of the backpack. Yes, I counted. So you can attach your glide cam or a tripod. And speaking of a tripod, it also comes with a little tripod holder that can attach to one of the loops and you can stick your tripod legs into the holder. It also comes with two additional bags that you can stick lenses or anything else in. And wait for it, you can actually take the waist strap off of the backpack, attach these two bags onto the waist strap, and now you can walk around with two lenses on your hips as you're shooting for quick access. I swear, Low Pro thought of everything when they designed this bag. And the Nomadic bag gives you two straps that you don't really know where to put them, so the point for this category goes to Low Pro. So as you can see here, the Low Pro backpack absolutely destroys the Nomadic bag in pretty much every category you can think of. So I definitely recommend getting this bag if you're a filmmaker or a photographer. It has all the features that I need and this video isn't sponsored so they aren't paying me or even giving me a free bag to say all of this. So if you want to check out this bag there's a link for it in the description. And I want to let you guys know that with every review I do on this channel it will always be hundred percent honest and sincere and I will never recommend a product unless I've personally used it and found it to be awesome. I really want to help you guys succeed and if you're interested in learning more about filmmaking I actually have an online course called Music Video Pro that teaches you everything you need to know to film high quality cinematic music videos, how to get music video clients, how to make a viral music video, and so much more. So if you're interested in checking that out, there's a link for it in the description. And I'm also in the process of creating another online course called Pro Filmmaker that will teach you everything you need to do to create a successful video production company, and that's about 80% finished right now, so it should be released soon. And if you're interested in getting that when it comes out, there's a link for that in the description as well. If you'd like to see more videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button and leave a like for the YouTube algorithm, which really helps out the channel and makes so that I can continue creating videos like this. And stay tuned because next week I'll be releasing a video about stupid camera hacks that are actually genius. So turn on the notification bell to be notified the second that video comes out. But other than that, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.